What's up EHP Labs, Goku Flex here and in today's video we're going to give you guys some bench tips. Things that I see people messing up on and how to fix it. So let's go. So first off, I'm going to be demonstrating on the incline bench press as for me personally, I don't like the flat bench press but the form is pretty much the same. So first thing I see is people don't align their eyes with the bar starting height. So the reason why you want to align your eyeballs with the bar is so you don't lose tightness upon unracking it. So once I get nice and tight from here, I can just unrack it with my lats and I don't lose any tightness. If the bar is further out from me and I'm trying to get tight, I'm going to lose tightness trying to unrack the bar from a further distance. So this is the checklist that I go through my head before I start benching. One, I make sure my legs and feet are planted through the ground. Yeah, okay, make sure I have a solid base. Remember, you're only as strong as your foundation is and that's in every lift, even the bench press. So make sure your legs are engaged, you're pushing your legs through the ground. As you come back, you want to make sure that your shoulders are retracted but you're not overarching. Unless you're a power lifter, you should not be hyperextending your lower back. Okay? So if you're not a power lifter, just arch enough to put your shoulders in a healthy, stable position. From here, just make sure your hands are even. For you new lifters, I see so many people in the gym with all these weird grips and stuff. Just use the knurling, measure the knurling. For me personally, I like to go about a thumb length out from the knurling. From there, I'm retracting my shoulder blades, putting them in a healthy position. So instead of leaving my arch and my lower back hyperextended, I engage my abs and squeeze my glutes. From there, I unrack, take a deep breath, Bring it down, explode up and exhale, squeezing my abs, pushing my feet through the ground, squeezing my glutes and using my chest. Another question I get asked about a lot is about false grip, meaning suicide grip. The reason why this is a dangerous and an unsafe way to bench is because let's say your wrist give and using a weight too much for you, guess what happens? The bar is coming crashing down on your body, okay? Whereas if you have your thumbs, then it locks the bar into place. And if the bar does come down, your thumbs are still locking it in. It's not gonna come rolling down your torso, smashing your nuts. So I do not recommend a false grip. Yes, you're gonna see a lot of people who use a false grip, but that doesn't mean it's for everyone. So another problem I see is that people bounce the bar off their chest as they're bringing it down. If you have to bounce the bar off your chest to get it back up, then the weight's too heavy for you. Make sure you're controlling the eccentric and you're forcefully contracting the concentric. The concentric, I don't care how fast you really push it, be explosive with it. Explosivity is, you know, a key factor to making strength gains. So explode it off your chest, but make sure you're controlling it on the way down. You don't have to do slow negatives or anything, but just have it under your control. Don't be slamming it down on your chest. So that's the end of the video. To sum everything up, one, make sure your legs are planted into the ground. Make sure that you have a solid base. You're pushing your heels and your feet through the ground. Make sure you're squeezing your glutes, but keeping your glutes on the bench at all times. When you start, make sure the bar is at your eye level. Don't lose tightness upon unracking. Retract your shoulder blades. Put your shoulders into a healthy position. Engage your abs and core and control the weight and press and focus on that mind-muscle connection. And as you work to perfect the form, understand that perfection is a never-ending process and progress is all that matters. And progress, in this case, equals gains. Subscribe, like the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Much love, strength, and honor. Aloha.